Okay, so I just went out and bought a freaking iPhone 10. Why? I don't know. I just did. It's funny. I just made like a video about how stupid the new Apple wheels are. And here I am. All of my money on an iPhone X. Why? I don't know. Okay, I guess I should do an unboxing. It's going to be weird because I've already used this phone. The bezel of the phone has like this weird metallic shimmer it's very very pretty look look at that metallic shimmer it's really beautiful and it has like this 3d texture to it i wonder what's inside designed by apple in california made in china <gasps> hello it seems to be shipping with cases these days okay i feel really stupid now so let's put this aside now let's talk about this what did i pay for my second hand iphone x well i paid seven thousand rands which is like painful for me to say because i like value things like my my phone i have now is s7 edge it's i bought it for four thousand back in the day it's it's very old it takes incredible pictures i use it for business social media everything i'm like scared of getting behind in the tech world so i thought why not upgrade to this camera system which apparently is Amazing. I'd say if you want a phone that has incredible video processing and video quality, the iPhone is the go-to phone by far. However, when it comes to like normal picture taking, there's no real justification in the price compared to this to this it's just it's an emotional buy really. Like I I was expecting to buy <laughs> I just took out the flash uh, I heart, I heart pressed that thing there. Well, I, that's 3D touch, I guess. Oh, look at the light rays. That's beautiful. Can I use it as like a camera LED? Okay, I found a bug. So if you if you long press the flash, it it gets all weird. Look. <laughs> Epilepsy warning! Okay, so I was expecting amazing pictures and I was disappointed to be to be brutally honest. iPhones, they give you a very balanced picture. So the colors, your pictures aren't very sharp. They're not very vivid. They're not very contrasty. But you know, that, that comes down to per personal preference. If, if you want that and edit your pictures after the fact, you know, exactly to your taste, then that's a good thing. However, I'm used to the Samsung camera. And Samsung cameras, the, the picture processing is done in such a way that you get out of the box pictures ready to share to social media. Actually, just recently, I, I stopped editing my pictures. I just, I, I just snap and then upload it to the social media pages. It's not necessary to edit pictures from the Galaxy devices because the contrast is great, the pictures are sharp, they're vivid. It just makes my life as a social media like business kind of guy it just makes my life a little bit easier not having to like edit every single picture if you're a perfectionist and you want to edit your pictures then i guess there's no problem okay but that brings me to actually i think the biggest issue that i have with the the iphone 10 is the screen now yes this probably when it came out it was the biggest screen in iphone ever which is which is actually kind of weird if you think about it because it's not that big this this screen is smaller than my phone it, it just is i'm not talking about the body i'm talking about the actual screen because i've noticed that when i'm trying to type typing is ridiculously hard okay but i just want to get my point across okay okay so the screen of the iphone saying not not the body or the chassis just the screen is 62 millimeters okay now let's compare that with the screen size not body size just screen size or screen width of my android 69 millimeters no okay let's not swing this thing around this this was pretty expensive and if you are that kind of guy doing everything on your phone then the, the x might not be for you because your eyes are going to strain quite a lot after a bit of use and typing i do make way more mistakes typing on the x than i do on my android okay now for a little a few comparisons
Something interesting I'm noticing is the the main camera sensor on my Samsung can get much closer to the subject than the main sensor on the iPhone 10. Oh, and another cool thing about Android is the camera has voice recognition that I always use. Okay, now it's time for video sample. I think my opinion on the iPhone 10 would have been a lot better if it was the XS Max because that thing I'm just checking on now on the internet that thing the screen on that thing is huge but then again it's expensive I don't like expensive phones I like value not value this is not value this is expensive Apple Apple is not value Apple is expensive like in the back of my mind I just know that the camera sensor on the iPhone 10 is one over three inches, whereas the sensor on the hand on the Samsung is one over 2.5. Okay, but after everything, I'm going to keep this. This is going back in the box. Um, I can't justify the 7,000 rand price tag on this. It's going to make somebody else much more happier than it is going to make me. So.